Jess, uh, I guess a lot of people approach you with the question, I want to get into service design or I want to become a better service designer. What is your most valuable tip you give them? That uh, I think one of the things that I, I get asked about uh, or where people are at, not just getting into service design, um, raw, but especially transitioning from other design disciplines into All service right. design is um, that you need to uh, service design because you're dealing with many channels, many touch points. You're also all of a sudden in a bunch of other people's business um, <laughs> that, that you're now have a bunch of other people in the organization who um, you need to work with. And so understanding and, and and listening and empathizing um, and appreciating those people um, is key to navigating the the landscape of complexity and politics and and personalities uh, and individual needs as well as organizational and customer needs and, and so just having that empathy and respect for the other people that you work with um, understanding that they need to get things. Uh, to satisfy themselves and their leadership uh, is really essential to being a successful service designer. Having uh, to turning that uh, uh, that sense of rather than advocating for service design or mm. telling the organization they do a bad job with services or customer experience, of empathizing with them and and when you have that deep empathy, then you find the right opportunities to advocate uh, for change and uh, and it you have that deep empathy, your advocacy is much likely to fall on deaf ears. So, so having empathic advocacy um, as you uh, embrace the new uh, opportunities and challenges of service design, I think is, is maybe one of the most important things.